be back with more of Jessica Kizorik. Jessica, the bigger, the better. That's your formula, right? Mm -hmm. Because you just, you, you take on a big, big journey here mm -hmm. at 29. Mm -hmm. What gives you that impression that that's really, where did you feel it, that that's where you needed to go? Out there in the world, sharing yourself the way you do. Well, I found that as, when I first started out as an entrepreneur, uh, I was grappling with, well, how do I just get the next $1,000 so I can pay my rent, or how can I get the next $500 so that I can make sure that I can buy my groceries for the month, and I was very thinking in terms of survival. And yes. in this last year in particular, I'm turning 30 in a couple months, and so I'm very excited about their turning 30. And it's had me think about really the expansion of myself and who am I really? Nice. And who am I? Who, who I am is this, I, is this like force to be reckoned with. Uh, yeah. and, and so I'm now looking at projects that are really a match for who I am. With Badass Business Women, my vision yes. is to impact the lives of millions of women, of women. around the world. And particularly, Beautiful. I have a very, Beautiful. I have a soft spot for, for young women. Yes. Because I think that what I'm building with Badass Business Women inside of impacting and working with their mothers, I want to create a culture where young women grow up and it's just natural for them to be themselves. That's right, I love that. In the business world. Like they, they, don't, they don't have to think they have to be any different. Just like um, it, would, it would be a new time, it would be a, a new way of thinking. Just like um, you know, 50 years ago, it yes. wasn't kosher for people to be gay out in public. That's and, right. And now it's okay to be gay and I'm gay and I'm very, everybody knows and there's no hiding that. Yes. I think that for women, we've now got all these opportunities mm -hmm. because the feminists, they burned their underwear for us and they did everything <laughs> they did for us. Yes. But we're not fully embracing and being successful yes. inside of those opportunities. So to answer your question yes. about bigger is better, yes. the bigger my goals get and the bigger my projects get, the yes. more people are drawn to me. Yes. I've got people that are more interested in hiring me for $10,000 a month. Yes or in sponsoring a $2 million project than they are in buying a $5,000 video. Beautiful. So the bigger I think and the more that I ask for. Four. So that is the, the money side of it, mm -hmm. but uh, wouldn't you say to connect was just the most important, priceless thing that you're getting out of all of this? What is it? Because it's not only the money, right? Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not. It's the opportunity to hang out with people like you <laughs> and be on the Awa show. <laughs> We're just the, the, the magic. But, but yes, I mean, that's, that's what I would like. Because you know what? I find it very uh, hard for people to just recognize that they need each other, mm -hmm. that they wouldn't do it alone. Yeah. And we hide behind the money, the, the even helping. Mm -hmm. Really? Do anybody need any help out there? Or is it us? We need it. We, you, I, mm -hmm. to connect. Isn't it that? What do you think? That's how it is for me. That's how it is for you. I'm personally an extrovert, so I feed off of, I get fed by other people. When I'm in your presence, yeah. from the first five minutes that I was in your presence, I knew that, wow, we have something in common. We have this desire to, to work together, to collaborate, yes. to yes. do something bigger in the world. For so the, for, the, for the sake of sharing yourself, and if you're sitting there, I just want you to think about one thing. I'm here, Jessica's here, and really, it's not for the money. It's not even to help. It's you will really have to feel the need to connect, to be part of all of this that is going on. Mm -hmm. Right? Well, it's the age-old question of why am I on this planet? Yeah, well, you're here because we need you here. Mm -hmm. Actually, you don't need us. We need you here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? And, and, and uh, because you're a great example that uh, 
of a successful <clears throat> 25 years old woman. 29. I mean, 29. Almost 30. I mean, gosh, 29, almost 30. <laughs> For me, it's like way, way too long ago, you know? And, and, and for women who are out there mm -hmm. not seeing themselves inspiring the world right now, mm -hmm. what would it take? What would you give them? What would you say it took for you to feel like, wow, mm -hmm. it's not that they need me, I need them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what did it take for you? Well, self-expression, and I think mostly what has people be happy yes. is when they're expressed. Yes. And when they're saying what's on their mind, when they're able to express their emotions, when they're able to express their creative talents, whether that's as an artist, as a writer, as an entrepreneur, whatever it is, that fire that you have inside yes. you, what will have you be happy and fulfilled is if you can see your talents and your expression out in the world. And what does it take? So the thing that really pushed me over the edge, and we were talking a little bit ago about yes. having, I was in that job watching, mm -hmm. watching the waves on my computer screen, and I always knew, because I was raised in, by an entrepreneur. I always knew yes. that eventually mm -hmm. I would own my own business. Like yeah. when I was 40, when I <laughs> had all the experience I needed yes. and I had worked and learned all this stuff. And then, mm -hmm. then later, later <laughs> at some other when point, 40, I, would, <laughs> I would be able to give back and I would be able to employ I people know. and I would really... Um, and I can receive. And yeah. it's only then that you can really receive too, right? Yeah, and yeah. So, so that's what was my thinking all along. When I was 13, my father told me, he said, as soon as you have an idea ready for a business, I'll help you start it. And I was like, all right, well, talk to me in 20 years. <laughs> and, and I did a course. I did the Landmark Forum. Wow. And the, by doing the Landmark Forum and several of the courses that come after through Landmark Education, that's where I really saw... That's where I got the courage yes. to, to go out on a limb and jump off that cliff. Yes. Because I think that's, that self-expression is like a muscle. It is. You, you have to surround yourself. You have to train yourself to be expressed. You have to surround <laughs> yourself. And in everything, anywhere, with everybody. Mm -hmm. Which is like having the integrity. Mm -hmm. I mean, actually, that's all it takes. Mm -hmm. Integrity authenticity, mm -hmm. and courage. Mm -hmm. So you've got to so surround you yourself and put yes. yourself inside of environments yes. that foster that. Yes, um, for, that me, it. for me, my, my most important training that I've gotten in my life has been through Landmark Education. So Beautiful. I'm a huge advocate, and that's how you and I met, because we've we both done the courses. Yes. But whether it's Landmark Education, or whether it's Tim Ferriss, or another author, or oh, that's Oprah, another one or, we love. Yeah, or, Oprah, or Seth Godin is another one of my yes. favorite authors. Putting yourself, reading, going to seminars, going to workshops, going, yes. you know, being a member, signing up at badassbusinesswomen.org. <laughs> that would do it. Yeah, right? <laughs> that would do it. But it's, it's, to, it's to, put, to put things in your environment that influence you in positive yes. ways yes. and help I mean, you build the muscle yes. and give you ideas for ways that you can yes. almost push past your own barriers Absolutely. and inhibitions. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, you just have to change the way you appear to yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to do the move. Mm -hmm. And it takes action. And those actions, your old self do not have it, cannot do it. You will have to create a new you. Well, because human beings are evolutionary. We're just built to survive. Uh, yes. And surviving doesn't equal happiness. No, he won't do it. We'll be right back.